Uh, all right, so all four of these cards are great. Uh, we can take the Island Sanctum. That's a good way of inevitability. Yeah, man, it's good to have you back, buddy, even if it is for a little bit. I think I'm just going to force it. I think I'm just going to force display and at least the one of the last drafts that we finally get to play our Beast Caller. I'm going to do it. Why not? We're going to take Beast. We're going to take display here and try to force it a little bit. Uh, there's Moon Dial. There's Rebel Sharpshooter and there's Unseen Ghost Blade. I don't like Unseen Ghost Blade, though Sharpshooter goes very well with our display as well. Hey, Chastity. All right, we're gonna take Unseen Ghost Blade here. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Bloodthirsty Brawler, yeah, yeah. Hot Blood Barbarian. Okay, we're gonna take Bloodthirsty Brawler. Maybe we go Skycrag. And then just splash the justice. Makes me wish I took the sharpshooter, but that's okay. Okay, okay. Blood Sun Staff. There is a Skyhorde Draconis, which sadly, I think the uh, the quick draw would go pretty good on a handful of units. We could slap down some dragons, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Get some additional spell damage going. Oh yeah, for sure, Wave, for sure. I, I don't encourage you first picking a display unless you're willing to get rid of it. Yep, I'm with you, Vader. All right, so we see our first pseudo dry up here. Uh, I don't think we want a one one for one. Seeing a lot of shadow go by. You just take the fledgling, I guess. There's also magma javelin. I think I would want Magma Jav on a Scotch more, just because of the fact that with these two cards we probably want to be. Yeah, and we were kind of shy on removal, and I think Fledgling is pretty replaceable in this format. So yeah, we're gonna take Javelin here. Okay, we'll pick up the uh, Sharpshooter now. Meow. Yep, I agree, Prison. I agree. Uh, there's a Corrupted Umbrin, but we are not on that train. It's a late Umbrin, though. That does make me feel like Shadow's open. We could take the Felon Stranger for uh, Primal Fixing, at the very least. There's also an Aerial Spotter, but that starts to creep us into double. And right now, all our stuff is single, so I think I'm just going to take the Felon Stranger for the Pseudo Fixing. Uh, there's also Yeti. Griffin Rider, which I'm not particularly a fan of, it is a primal two drop. It can wear our staff decently. I'm just gonna take the Fixing Stranger right now. I don't really care for a 1 1s for two, to be honest with you. Of course, we did lose to a 1 1 for two last game. Uh, don't want the found. There's Relentless Combatant that goes very well with both staff and display. Also, ancient manual though be more fixing for us. Uh, let's get the ancient manual. I'll take the fixing here. I think combatants go pretty late. The reconnaissance. So shadow is for sure open. But you know what that means, guys. That means that uh, shadows could be open in pack two and three, and we're gonna miss out on a wicked shadow deck. Uh, I could take the hot blooded barbarian or gambit. Take the barbarian just to have another two drop. Uh, these are both gross. We'll uh, take the Barbarian Camp. Shout out to Collector and Enrausch. Boom! Boom! Yes! Oh, yes. Look at that. Told you. It's happened to us every single draft. Every single draft in this format. We've had like a third, second, or first, last pick Beastmaster. I know, I'm sorry, Jim Joe. They did. Your deck was doing so good in the tournaments, they nerfed it twice. There you go. See, look at that. Forced it, got rewarded. How awesome would it have been if the next pick was that one? All right, come on, pack two and three. Make it happen. You and the captain make... Oh, the Felon Stranger now? <laughs> They're trolling us so bad. So bad right now. 
Oh, you evil, evil deck. Nope, I'm gonna stick to my guns. We're going, we're forcing honor this time. What's up, John? I know, it's how ironic the last draft of the uh, the format we're gonna do it. Uh, so let's see, this gives us Rakano, Rakano. This gives us Huru. Huru? Right now it's looking like we definitely want fire early. I wonder, so does that mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? Does that mean we take the film and make fire our primary color? Nope, we're not doing five color. Uh, oh, I'm glad you laid down. Go back to sleep, Merc. Oh, we bombed. We bombed. Went one in, one in three. You like Toka Creation? You like Zealot? Are you high on Zealot, Gibbon? Are you on that school of thought? Or token? All right, we'll take token. I think we can get Zealots pretty late. Fair enough, Merc. I'm sorry you have a headache, dude. <gasps> oh yeah, hype and chat. Hype and chat. This is gonna be my, this is one way to say goodbye to a format. Oh, my god. I mean, there is a defile, of course. So Shadow, like I told you guys, it was open in pack one, it's open pack two. But yeah, we're gonna hammer hand. Why not? Why not? <laughs> we're already doing it. <laughs> Let's just do the shenanigans. So the correct pick, honestly, this deck probably should be somewhere in the Stone Scar area right now. But um, yeah, the correct, all right. So for those that are here for educational purposes, last pack, the correct pick, was totally that stranger. The Felon Stranger is really good because late game, you get to permafrost everything. But yeah, ham and then here it's the Defile, but we're taking Hammerhand. We're gonna Hammerhand people. Yep, see, look at that, Reborn Master and Two-Face. So once again, Shadow is open, but uh, there's an argument for a two drop, but we're gonna take the fixing. We need to take any fixing we can now since we're gonna try to play three colors with a four influence cost oh gosh now i really wanted to play shadow can we imagine triumphant returning this bad girl we're gonna take token here hey we got a rare that does absolutely nothing someone actually played that against me <gasps> we can contaminate ritual our hammer hand or a beast master yeah no we're not doing it guys we're not get off of it we're not doing it though giving overwhelm to a uh, hammer hand seems pretty spicy Oh yeah, for sure, 100%. Uh, I wonder if we just take the two drop here, honestly. Like right now we seem so firmly in three colors. I guess we can go Sky Crag. So it'd be Yeti Cookmaster over Outcast here. I have never drafted Touch of Wild, and we don't need to because our other two units have Overwhelm, and I am going to put the Barbarian Cat back in. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think we need it. I think it's either Outcast or Cookmaster. You're on Cookmaster, I'm so bad. I don't think it's Smithing. I mean, we do have some good weapons, fair, but I think, oh shoot. All right, let's take Cookmaster. Uh, there's Sky King, but we're take Fixing. Book Cub Yeti. It goes with our Barbarian Camp and our two weapons. There's also Rage Heart Paladin. Yeah, we're taking the two draw. I think we're going to try to go Sky Crag, Splashing Primal. Or Justice, I'm sorry. I like that. <laughs> it ain't, it's not gonna smell good, I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Alright, we'll take Token here. Passing on a Cook Master and Gorger. I've never drafted a Gorger. Fixing or Blade Crafter? Uh, we have two good wep- three good weapons to get. We'll take a Blade Crafter here, get a unit. Yeah, we're- we're-, we're yeah, we're taking- we're taking Blade Crafter here. Uh... 
I guess it's Zealot here. Is Zealot good in Skycrag? Given, do you like... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you like it? I like it in a Shadow variant where you could bring it back. It does pledge for fire. Good point. I'm personally not high on Zealot. I've been trying to come around on it because I keep losing to it, but... See, you stick quick draw on Oh, okay, we do have a weapon. That's right, because that's why I was saying shadow, but I guess we do have a weapon that does it. Versus this guy's been super shmedium. All right, another Yeti. Yep. Zealots for days. We're not taking two Zealots. Hey, all right, our fixing's looking mighty fine. Oh, of course. Of course, now you give me a Corpse Boom. Now you want to give me a Corpse Boom. GG. Uh, Tainted Mark or Siege Provisions? What do you guys want? Brood? I don't know if I want to go double. Salvo? What are we, what are we putting in the market though? Like, if we had a couple of things, but right now, well, I guess we could put, like, a hot blood barbarian or something. We got two for brood. Anyone else? Provisions goes good with a good chunk of our deck. Plus, we have two yetis right now. We'll probably get two more of this pack. There's brood. There's tainted mark to draw cards. We are, no one's on tainted mark. Quit trolling, Sokka. You know better. You're betraying my trust there with that dark betrayal. That's what you're doing. <sighs> I don't hate Tainted, but we also don't have a lot of flyers. Maybe it is just Brood? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's provisions too. I like the idea of provisions because it can also turn on our Beastmaster and let Hammerham, Beastmaster, and Zealot to get in there. Yeah, I think it's provisions here. Uh, there's a touch of force. Does this deck want touch of force? Or do we just snack up, snag up the uh, Drake or the Bottled Storm? I personally think Bottled Storm is too slow, but I've seen people do some wicked things with it. We're already at five attachments though. Yeah, we have some good targets. And we can we can give oh we can give hammer hand in our hand touch. And then it deals freaking oh god, they deals 20 damage. I'm gonna take touch here. I, I personally think Storm is a little well, there are a lot of X ones in the format. Yeah, we're taking touch. We have a lot of things that have overwhelm too. We have three things that do insane overwhelm damage. We'll take torch. Why not? We're already high rolling with a beast master. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna touch here. Boom, look at this. Rewarded. We could get we could take the bottled storm here. All right, so what do you guys want? Storyteller, provisions, or bottled storm? I'll take your pick here. Yeah, the fact that we have three great things that do that have overwhelm is extremely powerful. I think. You guys want the storm here? We'll do the shenanigans together. Why not? All right, we'll take the storm here. We can take the tainted mark, but uh, I'm starting to feel like we might need some units. 
See, Fear Tracker. I'm telling you, Shadow is open in both packs. Go figure. Sadly, I don't think we take in, in Tain and Mark here. We don't have, yeah, we don't have enough evasion. The only question is, we want to take the shiny nesting raven or the promising pupil. Raven. Okay, take Raven. Uh, I feel a little bit better about a Rage Heart Paladin now. We could take some more fixing as well. Oh, we have three fives though. Do we just want a pupil here now instead of a uh, Rage Heart Paladin? Or do you guys think we're going to need the Lifesteal? It goes pretty good with our uh, Blood Sun staff. Be swinging as a 6 4 quick draw Lifesteal. We have. Barbarian Camp, The Siege. Alright, we'll take Rage Paladin here. Uh, we have the Smithing. We don't have a Destruction here. We have Ensnare now. We have Removal though. We have two big ways to get rid of Flyers though. Uh, it's not fixing for us. It, it, we don't have a uh, shadow or time. We can take the smithing. All right, we'll take the ensnare. There's the skies too, but we'll just snag the burning core drake here. Starting to round out our units. Uh, yeti or more? F oh no, that's not fixing. My bad. Uh, we don't have that display, so yeah, we just take our Yeti. Ruinous Burst. Ruinous Burst will only go with our... Yeah, we didn't pick up any spell damage. That's kind of funny. We didn't pick up any spell damage. Still think Burst might do something. Put it in the pool, though, for right now. Uh, there's more fixing. I don't think we want a second. We only need three more units. The only one I'm super, actually I'm kind of medium on both the two drops, but I don't think we need another Blade Crafter, do we? No, right? I think we're fine with just one. We either get a weapon to kill something or we get our Blood Sun Staff to slap on something. Yeah, I like the token as well. Get our fixing looking really good, really good. All right, there's Raven. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Look at this. Look, look at this. A Shara Deadshot and Horse Snatcher Bat. Someone talked about Horse Snatcher or Pony Snatcher earlier. Yeah, this deck, this draft could have totally been in Shadow. Yeah, for real. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna get two more Beastmaster. We're gonna get one more Beastmaster. I'm gonna call it now. Uh, where are we at, guys? Wisdom of the Elders or Sword? I don't think we're dress desperate, Gambit. Do we have enough things to make Sword good? This turns Sword on in one hit. This turns Sword on in one hit. This turns it in one hit. This turns it in one hit. This is already big. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling Sword here. No, 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 no. We don't have the room for it. Never mind. We already have, yeah, we have too many attachments. I guess we could swap Barbarian Camp for the sword, but at this point I don't want to because it turns on our three Yetis. So are we on Traditionalist or Wisdom, which stinks because they're both double Primal, which I wanted to try to keep things. The only, we have double Justice on the top end, but everything else is primarily Fire, which is what I liked. I think I like the Blood Sun Staff more than I like Sword. Gambit, maybe? Yeah, I can see Gambit. We're kind of losing. We're, yeah. All right. I'll take the Gambit. Or do we want to just draw cards? You know what? Better Up, Better Up is a little higher on, on Wisdom. He, lo he actually loves Wisdom. So I'm going to take some advice from our latest podcast. And we'll take Wisdom. All right. Sweet. 
Uh, okay. Well. I mean, we're slamming Targoff. I hope our fixing gets there. Uh, Sharpshooter Island's Choice for removal. We're at 17 units. What do you guys think? Our removal consists of relic weapons, so I don't hate taking Island's Choice. The Sharpshooter's pretty good. You're on Rebel. One on Rebel, one and, one and a half on Rebel. Yeah, we only have two threes. It stops us from dying to like corpse booms and stuff. That's a thing. But maybe we're just the aggressor. Yeah, I'm gonna take the one piece of removal because we really don't have it. Oh, I guess, well, display actually acts as removal as well. Yeah, we're gonna take the sharpshooter. Uh, Evangel over combatant. We only have two fours, but they're pretty good fours. Linra Evangel would replace like hot-blooded barbarian, and it helps us play both Targov as well as uh, our wisdom. Yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Evangel. We're gonna cut the barbe. Oof. Yeah, we'll take a Wiv Arc. Death from above. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shadow is wide open. Do we take Death from above? Like, we have some things that kill them with Death from above. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right as well. Like, what are we at unit-wise? We got plenty of fives. We don't need another one with Empath as much as I like it. Do we have, how many ways do we have of triggering it? Just one, right? Yeah, just one. 18, what are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 drops. So we can actually cut the Cookmaster as well. Two, two nesting ravens. Let's, yeah, sure. We'll death from above. Well, we have, we have a better magma sentinel, so we're not playing that. Cartographer, we don't need a two drop. Let's take the card advantage in Troublemaker. Uh, we're not running any of these cards. We're good on units. Did we took the gambit? We did, right? Oh no, we didn't. So I guess we could take a gambit here. I don't think it's gonna make the deck though. Hey, bring down. Okay. Uh, nope. Come on, come on. Give me one more beast, Master. Gosh darn it. All right. This deck actually kind of came together. Our fixing is not bad either. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, so we can cut this. Then we have all the primal, so we're gonna be good on primal. We're gonna be very good on primal. Did I put the bring down in? Yeah, bring down, display, touch, wisdom. We're actually not looking too bad. Thanks to the bring down, we can go ahead and cut the ensnare now. Two cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. I want to leave the barbarian camp in there. I think we have enough things to benefit from it that it works out. I think we do cut a nesting raven though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yep, we picked up two of them. One more cut. One more cut. And we still gotta work on our power. 
Oh, true, and that's that's what's most important, Merc. That right there. Uh, do we want to cut Unseen Ghostblade or? We have four spells, so Ghostblade isn't really going to get us a unit very often. Do we want to just cut the Ghostblade? No, I'm okay with that prism because then that just means we can cut primal sigils and add more fire sigils, to be honest with you. Because remember, we still need to run hammer hand. And we have double we have double primal all the way up. Yeah, I think I am gonna cut Ghost Blade. Cut Ghost Blade. Because we still have a four. Push comes to shove, we have display if we need to as a removal. I kind of like this. Let's see. I just need to play, I just need to activate, play, I just need to play Beastmaster and hit it one time, overwhelm, renown one time, and then hammer hand one time, I'm good. We, after that, with this deck can just be garbage and I'm good. Let's see, let's see what uh the old shift stone has to say about this. <laughs> oh, 46% chance to play Hammer Hand on curve. Uh, the good news is, is that up on turn 10, we hit 60%. So let's see, Evangel's on two, we're not worried about. Burning Core, so let's see. Bring down Siege Provisions, so we actually can go down one more Justice, go up one more Fire. Hey, there we go. 55%. Can we do no justice? Display, and that's it, right? Oh, and then Beastmaster on curve. You, yo, yeah, Wave, you read my mind. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. So just out of curiosity. 68 that's still 70 and that bumps hammerhand up to 64 percent with it breaking 70 on turn nine and let's be honest like uh let's see 60 percent to drop linrai wisdom is 65 cargoff is 72 blade crafter 86 troublemaker Yeah, that's not bad, honestly. I don't hate this. We don't have anything, so eight. Yeah, so we just play with four justice sigils for how much How much justice is in our deck? One, two, three, four justice cards. Okay, that's about right, actually. I would have liked the finest hour in this deck. Still feel like Bottled Storm's a little slow, but at least it draws us cards. So what happens if we go up with Justice? So what is this? Hold on. Uh, Beastmaster is 68 to 76. And then Hammerhand, because we Hammerhand goes 61 to 56. Seventy-seven, sixty-nine. Ah, that's a pretty big jump, actually. All right, I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna keep five sources, and we're just gonna run the gauntlet with our hammer hand. Still, seventy percent on turn ten. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys got any input? Input? Four car, four sources for four cards. Luckily, none of those cards we want right away. And we're not always going to draw a hammer hand. Do we just drop a primal? Maybe that's where, maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. You give 714 as well? Yeah. What happens just out of curiosity? Hold on. 55, 57, all right? No, 65. So 57, 65. We drop 60. No, that's too much.
fair. I don't think either of them are here. Yeah, we'll just run 714. 714. We could have picked up a little more fixing, but we also need to worry about the quality of our deck. All right, let's do this. Uh, I have a top hat I can go get. Uh, of course our opening hand, look at this. See, see, look at this. Our opening hand has hammer hand and we have three fire sources already. Boom. Um, I don't think we can keep this though. It has a three drop, our opponent's on the play. We have the barbarian camp on four. No, we can do better than this. I'm gonna redraw. Okay. Yeah, this is this is not bad actually. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if we pledge. I wonder if we pledge. I'm gonna pledge. I'm gonna pledge. That way we already have Hammerhand turned on, and our deck is pretty power hungry. Look at that. Uh, I think we're still gonna hold on the Yeti. Let's drop a Stranger. Our power, our opponent missed power. Uh, yeah, sure. If they play something big, we can javelin kill something. Oh, get wrecked! Oh, I got wrecked so bad. I got wrecked so so bad. Um, I don't hate javelin, honestly. They're missing on power. Okay. Hey, look at that. Hammer hands turned on. Uh, for the record, Hammerhand was turned on. Just saying. Uh, Justice, Fire, Fire. Nope. This does not work. Our hand's all primal. Alright, we'll redraw this. Fair. Uh, this hand doesn't do anything either. But we're on the play. No. We're on the play, we need units. Let's redraw. There we go. All right, so fire, fire, fire. Oh, uh, we don't have a two drop, so let's wait. Just in case, just in case. Just in case like we draw Targov or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, let's make sure our deck's turned on. Because we're going to go 3 4, and then I want to make sure we can play Targoff. I know, it's going to bite me in the butt. Watch. <laughs> All right, deck. All right. Oh, yeah, for sure. The next format's going to be so smooth with a plunder is going to be amazing. That's unfortunate. I know it's not yet. We got a ways to go. We got a ways to go, my friends. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We're gonna get double Winvoke. Seems good. At this point, I'd be cool with the Justice Source. Justice would be cool. I think I'm gonna take the three here. Uh, Cause if we draw a Justice Source, we can play our Beastmaster. And if not, we could still jam for six and then play the Troublemaker.
Okay. Uh, I want to play fire. I want to play fire. Fire. All right, well, we need we need to survive now. We're on uh, survival duty. Hopefully they play a blig, blig, blig. They play a big flyer. I wonder if that was too ambitious. I don't think so. Keep our life total high and then Beastmaster can block everything else. Cause yeah. Cause once we drop Beastmaster, you just don't attack. And we still traded two, well, it's not even two cards. Cause they're, they got two Winvokes off of it. Let's see if we lose to Winvoke again. Now I'm a little worried. I should have pledged fire. No, we're still correct. We can play everything minus this card in our deck now. So we have multiple things that we can do to, to, to go off here. Mmm, sad face. I have a fast spell. Teleport, bounce our guy. Hey, what's up, Chewbacca? Okay. All right, we can at least... Oh, they're going to get another Wimvoke, so silencing it doesn't even do anything. Oh, I guess we stop it from getting the 3-3. Three, three, the plus 3, plus 3. So there's that. How are you doing, Chewbacca? You working today or you have the day off? No, you're, you're working today, and then you're off on Thursday, right? Come on, John. Seriously, I just wanted to do one thing, Brosif. Just one thing. So, do we stop the Winvoke and kill their flyer, or do we silence the... Oh, wait. Shoot. Do we... They didn't decimate, right? Yeah, they did... Wait. No, they didn't... They didn't decimate, right? Did you guys catch that? I don't remember. They did decimate want wave. So if it's if it's not subdued, they decimated. And then it right? Or I think that's how it is. Let's just count their power. One, two, three, four, five power played. And they're at five. So I don't think they decimated. I just don't know if it's worth it to just burn a clean piece of removal. They've already winvoked twice. What if they winvoked like a bomb? You know what I mean? I think, yeah, I think we just need to silence the exalted. All right, Chewbacca, be safe getting home, buddy. Hey, Asmodee, good to see you, friend. So many decisions here. So many decisions. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's just get rid of the... And then hopefully we'll have the power turned on by Hammerhand standards. I know, sorry guys. Sometimes I think out loud, or I, I think too fast and I skip things. Yeah, we definitely threw off their what they had in mind. Uh, that's a little scary. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was a really good mill. That was a really good mill. It was our fire source, plus our brawler and our display. Yeah, no joke, I'm so bad. No joke. I just try to be slightly educational. The other thing that happens to me sometimes too, Theo, is if I, uh, if I like go too deep in a line, so I'll pick my line, right? I'm gonna say, I think about line A and line B. I'm like, oh yeah, B, line B is the best. So line B is my primary. And then I'll think like line C, line D, and then what I do next turn after line A. And then I space and I forget about line, the first line. Happens to me every time. Ah. 
Uh, why? Why? All right, we just need a fire source. We need a fire source, and we're we're in business. Fire off the top, baby. Give me fire off the top, and we're gonna wreck this dude. I mean, they still got rectifier, which is sad. Oh, that thing's already turned on. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy's looking really bad right now. God, how good would have been Hammerhand right there? Thanks. I, I try. I try. Uh, what are we looking for, guys? What's our deck want to do? Doing this is seems kind of pointless, so I'm just going to pass. Because what we can do is we can Hammerhand, kill two things, then they silence it. All right. Oh. oh, better lucky than good, baby. Better lucky than good. Uh. Yep. Why is my? There you go. Got you. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. Boop. Okay, okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. They gave them time, they didn't decimate. Okay. Alright, they got another one. They're getting some serious value though. They've gotten four winvokes. Huh. What? Oh yeah, that's right, our guy can't attack. Uh, I think we just kill the flyer. We, we, that's a chump blocker, but I think I just deny them the flying capabilities. So they're gonna have chump blockers. We need, we need to, we need to, uh, okay. I wonder if we actually put the staff here on defense. Ooh. Oh, we can't do both. We need one more power. <gasps> oh, really? I should have saw that coming too. That was silly. That was maybe a premature shade, but... Okay. We weren't gonna kill that anyways. So what do we have left? I think that's it, right? That's all our wing cons? Oh, man. Seriously? Oh wait, we can double damage that. Oh, yes. So we ping, ping. We take four, but then we can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to do it that way because we can't let them silence the overwhelm and double damage. Okay, okay, we have a line. We have a line. It would have been nice if we drew power there, but... So we take four, we go to seven. We double... Oh, that's a little awkward too, right? 
Because we, yeah, ugh, all right. I mean, there's a couple ways to do it. Asmodee, we could just silence one of these guys as well. Or we can, um, you can also, if we had a way to give them endurance. So there's a couple ways to break curses already. It's just not your straight up remove a curse from something. That might be, wait. Wait, they, they have two of those guys? Wow. 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 All right. So hold on, if we give double damage to the Yeti, it'll do six and we can kill this guy. Then we could put the weapon here. Can we do all that? Hold on. Yeah, that's eight. So we can put it here and here. Then we put the weapon here and swing through that. Yeti will kill this guy. So we take three on the crackback, but we hit him for... Oh, we actually just don't attack. And then this thing will die. Yeah, I think that's correct. So... Here... And... Right? It'll count as double damage, right? Pretty sure it's double damage. Play this. Kill that. Play this and we're giving him a window but we we're at seven so we need this guy not to die the only problem is if they play a flyer they'll get at least one more windvoke okay all right okay can we pull this one off we got some serious value off of hammerhand Gosh, darn it. All right, we can draw first. Is that worth it? I think we have to attack. Like, this guy can't block. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything in our deck that we want? They already burned our, our display. Yeah, let's just draw. Okay, okay, we can play two blockers, so we're good. Go into the red zone. Hey, man, this deck is popping off. Okay, so as long as they don't have a kill spell for this dude. Okay, they're digging. And then they get to, so they get to see it's two more cards. Let's see if they activate. I think we have to keep swinging. Uh, I think we block here. Ah, uh, getting power there is rough. A spacing kills them. Force them to have it. They gotta have an answer. Oh my gosh. <sighs> like we just had to go for it, right? Like I, I guess they didn't activate, but what were we gonna do? Just let them keep drawing cards? Like, they didn't activate their... What? Oh. Well played, John. Well played. Good game. Wow. Man. That was some serious good gameplay on their part. Holy cow. Rip. Mm -hmm. 
on the draw. Does this hand do enough? I'll keep it. I think it does. Nice, Sandy. Uh, we have turn three to figure out if these need to be a justice, so we'll do fire. Then we'll play a Yeti on two, Yeti on three. Okay. Hey yo. Okay. All right, trade for us thus far. Uh, this is probably, what do we want to get with this? Spiteful Strike? I almost want to play the Justice at this point. Let's just go look for a weapon. Hmm. Yeti or Javelin? Let's go here. A hand towel? What is a hand tool? Alright, well now I feel a little bit better making this a justice source. You can actually just equip here and swing, leave this back on D, because if it was something they would have attacked with. You can also just play, yeah, we want to push the issue. If this dies, we can potentially... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's play a, let's just get another unit on the board. Thanks Slash man, appreciate it. Yeah, and then hopefully we can use Display of Honor to get us back into this. Oh, well, look at that. Look, will you look at that? Hammerhand is activated and they're taking some damage. What is the fast spell in their hand? Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me right now! Seriously? Oh man, did you guys see that? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Wow! Torgov, Beastmaster, and Hammerhand. <sighs> wow! I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little salty about that. You in freaking incredible! One mil got everything! Oh gosh, man, and part of Maru thinks he's got the worst luck in Eternal? Yeah, about that. Well, I wanted to kill that, but I guess we have to kill that. 
and then they activate this the following turn, but we just turn it into, all right, so we don't even get to use our display to gain life, awesome. And they probably have recursion for it. So we maybe should have actually just killed this and turned that. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I'm so lost right now. Oh man. I don't even know. Uh, we can't take a hit from that. Yeah, we can. We'll just block with a Yeti, I guess. I don't know. Mmm. Oh, you're totally right, Princess. You are totally right. 100%. I messed that up so bad. You are 100% right. 100% right. Uh, do I just two for one myself here? I guess that keeps this open. Yep, you were 100% right. I, I just two for one myself for no reason. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so that was a punt. Sorry, I, I was tilted. I'm not gonna lie. I was tilted. I'll take the hit on that. And at this point, Doc's a good player. I'm sure they know already that we have uh, that we have the display. I'll add that to the punt counter. Sorry, I'm gonna take a break after that. that I don't know. I that tilted me so bad. <laughs> we don't even get to have fun today. Thanks, Chastity. Yeah, there's the triumphant. They get to replay it. We almost were going to be able to win. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Plus four, no, eight. So we have to turn into a goat. I would have liked to gain the life, but beggars can't be choosers. All right, our last answer. Don't have the machinations? Okay, that's a desperation play. So yes. All right, that's what you. G I'm not. I'm not gonna call it premature. I'm not gonna call it premature, because we could still lose here. I'm gonna draw cards first. Yeah, that that seems useful. All right. What do we do? Oh, all right. Thank God we still took that down. Remember that one over master. I saw that one. You came into the channel. We talked about it a little bit. I remember. Uh, we'll keep this. We're on the draw. We have four power. Um, it's a little wonky if we draw our double time, but we at least can give uh, sharpshooter double damage. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think this is okay. Preferably, we'd like to draw something else that we can give double damage to. Like that. Yep. We's good. No, I, I totally understand, though. Especially in the position you were in. 100. Uh, is it worth switching this over right now? Eh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to leave a blocker. Yeah, no, especially where you lost. It's one of those positions where you feel like first loser. I totally understand. Uh, okay, do we... We hold, right? Or no? Do we hold so we get the... Yeah, because we have a four. Yeah, so we still have a four. Then we could go five and then attack. Then double damage and give this one double damage. And they're pretty slow now, so I'll do it now. I should have, we would have, what, got in for three? 
It's I never like sacking the Raven right away though, or the Nest, because you never know how aggressive or defensive your opponent's gonna be. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. I want that. I want them to trade. Okay. Cool. So they took a Z extra damage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that. Do we want to give it quick draw too? Or do we want we just want to kill that guy, right? I'm gonna get greedy. We're gonna quick draw it. We have chump blockers. Yeah, Jim Joe, it was absolutely great to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for swinging by, truly. It means a lot. It means a lot, my friend. Yeah, I think we do the thing. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna do the thing, guys. And then we can give this guy quick draw instead of Beastmaster, though I don't hate that either. Let's keep dropping their life total. Let's play Beastmaster. Hopefully it doesn't get silenced. Don't silence me, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Really? You were sandbagging all that? So they're gonna double block here? I wanna give it, I kinda wanna give it quick draw. Quick draw at seven. So they have to, yeah, there's no good blocks to do that. And then we still get to play this dude. Then we double damage. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Oh, I got to play Beastmaster. And that's why Beastmaster is so good. It's exactly why Beastmaster is good. Turn back time. What are you turn back timing? Eager offering. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we get to silence something too? Pew, 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 pew. Did we just kill? They're, they're, they're just dead. All right. They're just dead. Sup. That's what's up. Chewbacca, thank you for listening to the podcast, buddy. I really do appreciate it. Uh, uh, this hand. I feel like we can do better, so we are. We're going to redraw this. That was a fun game. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, this hand is super slow, but I think it's powerful enough that we can... So what, this is going to be primal? We just need a two drop. I have faith. We have a lot of two drops. Give me a two drop. I think the new formats could be very exciting, Theo. Very exciting. Hopefully, it would be nice if this deck gets a seven wins. Be a good way to end the end this the format. All right, we got. All right, so so justice, primal, fire, fire. So let's get, I guess let's get, it doesn't matter. They're all depleted. We got all of our fixing right now. That's so funny. This is one heck of a hand, ain't it? Uh, let's get primal down first, I guess, since we have more stuff to do. Oh, my bad. My bad, Overmaster. Alright, well, it didn't matter. 
We'll do. All right, we're gonna hold our second justice, or I'm sorry, our uh, second uh, primal, just in case we targ off. So we'll go fire next turn. Man, ambition. Okay. All right, we'll still go fire. Please, 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 please. Give me a depleted power. Please, so we don't get wrecked. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, come again. Uh, Grab two things. Or, nah, let's just get the free unit. All right, so now, yeah, this one's fire. So this one, oh wait, we still need justice. All right, I'm gonna make justice and primal. Because there's only one card with a fourth fire. We upped our fire count. Ooh, that's going to be nice. All right, let's take the war cry out. We have weapons to deal with that. So we'll just take the war cry out. That way they can't drop a huge unit on us. Siege provisions. All right, let's drop the other one. And then justice here man how awkward has it been we got lucky there that we got our undepleted power but our fixing is pretty good surprisingly we're still lacking but we'll get just we'll get uh yeah i think that was correct That's fine. We want to keep our life total up. We got decent. Oh, well, gosh darn it! Seriously, deck for serious? They have a they have a pause, but they don't want to keep their guy alive. But we have the siege provisions to make this guy swing, so I think it's worth playing this this turn. Uh, we don't have anything else to do, so let's just spend our depleted power and. We have double. Ugh, that's so awkward. We almost had perfect power. Oh, you're right. You're right. It is the temper. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, do we want double damage? I want to wait. I'm going to wait on the double damage till we get something. Oh, we can do the same combo from before. We can do both, actually. Nah, let's just get the free card. Wait, hold on. Let's be smart about this. We don't have to wait play around biting winds. We play this, we go grab the quick draw weapon. We play this, we can play touch of force on the weapon and him. Or we, oh wait, we could still do this. We just don't do the endurance. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Play endure, that triggers. <clears throat> Oh, they do have a fast spell. What do they got? Unlucky. I mean, I guess the bright side is, is that we have two other things that they could do and they won't be able to decimate. Uh, I don't want to do the double damage here till we have the protection. I want to make sure we have the protection from the weapon and quick draw. So let's grab that. Man, I'll tell you what. This deck is doing some things. When this deck goes off and we don't have all our best cards milled, we actually do some things. Yeah, we got pretty lucky they had a slow start. So the only thing that gets them out of this here is... Uh, Bouncing with the uh, bouncing with whatchamacallit. I think they could take it. I'm actually gonna wait on the double damage and just deploy two more threats. That way, next turn we can bottled storm. 
It really does prison. It does stuff and think wow, they're taking it. So hold on 14. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait Just be power efficient I guess we got played storm to ping but All right, let's get with the last card out of their hand temper. Yep. Cool. Fine. Uh, give that double damage is super medium. Oh, I I I, I can rest happy. All right, well, we did it again. Literally, the flying squirrel lethal is what's been going on here. Flying Squirrel Lethal! No, it was. Really, Corey? It was. was Corey the person that milled us? Uh, this hand doesn't seem good enough. You know what's crazy? We have how many two drops? We have seven two drops. And I feel like we haven't seen a lot of them. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna redraw. Doc 28 was. Uh, and this hand doesn't do anything either. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I'm going to be dull about it. Come on, deck. Not like this. Not like this. And they have a one drop. I'm gonna wait. Primal, primal, justice. I mean, we can not play around the. Really hope that uh, we get to life steal with the honor. That might get us back in this game. On deck. Come on. We primal this. We don't have a three, but I also. Yeah, it's fine. Let's wait again. Okay. Gotten a little lucky so far. Their deck has been slow as well. Okay, cool. So I'm glad we waited. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and make sure we can targ off next turn. Sad part is, is the, you know, they're playing Fighting Winds colors. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, get trolled. Get trolled, Jedi. Uh, I wonder if it's more important to kill that. I think it is. Man, we're going to take a lot of damage. Oh, they, all right. Whew. I don't think we could have played around the body wins. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have the provisions now. That's kind of iffy. Yeah, but they still have another one where I mean, we're definitely gonna need to do this. The only question is, do I pull the trigger on this or do I wait? Do we have a reason we could play Targoff and Siege provisions? Yeah, let's have faith in our deck. I should have attacked first.
I hope that wasn't a mistake. Oh, they have a fast spell? If we play that, the jig is up. If we play this, it's not. I'm worried about that fast spell. I think we need to start doing this. Ooh, that was a lucky one. Trying to think if we, oh gosh. We need to gain the life because they have another blocker. Oh. I'm gonna risk it. Oh yeah, we, we have to. This is lethal, so we have no choice. I don't think we're going to win this one. And this can turn into a bird if they remember. Yeah. Oh, come on, Hammerhand. Come on, Hammerhand. Come on, Hammerhand. All right, we're going to sack this. All right, let's dig. Hammerhand. Hammerhand. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this really stinks. Because I think we have to kill a bird and just chump block. Yeah, we're just chump blocking this dude. All right, chuck this. Does he do something? He gets... Oh yeah, he gets the plus, so we have to kill that guy. Kill this guy. Play this guy. Okay. Oh man, we need another fire too, I know. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on, we can get our weapon, right? We just want to sack this and get our weapon? Our weapon doesn't do anything right now, right? I think we want a chance to do more damage. Yeah, let's just block here. We siege that. So... We actually can't... We almost can't siege. If we draw fire, all right, they blend. Oh, so now we can't. Okay, 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 okay. So chump here. This can block here. We do this to play the flyer to kill that. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. So I think we get rid of Siege here. I know that sounds crazy, right? I think we just do, yeah. I think we just get rid of Siege. Get rid of Siege. Play this. Ah, like I... Do we just kill this guy? I think we... Oh no, because it loses our guy. 
I think we do, right? We have to kill this guy. No, because we... No, because we lose... It. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're just gonna jump block. Or, we're... Yeah. Jump block here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh! Oh, it has Berserk! Oh, I just threw the game. Oh, no, we didn't. We just block here. That's right. They have to block. We play this. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I, I we have to force the block. We have to force the block so they don't they have less outs. We lose our beast collar, which is unfortunate, but They have fire, so Seer kills us, Runus Blast kills us. Uh Spiteful Strike doesn't do it. Rampage kills us. We don't have enough power to do all three. Whew. GG. Oh my god. The stress. The stress. Uh, sure. Sure. This is so awkward, but I guess we gotta trust our fixing. I don't know, do you guys think we can do better than this? Seems to have a decent amount of gas, so I'm gonna keep this. We'll just go fire, fire primal. Or do we just trust the fact that we always get our second primal? Let's wait. We'll wait one more turn. Gosh, that was a top deck, man. I mean, granted, we were drawing, what, we drew three extra cards off of Targoth? All right. Yeah, I'll just make this primal. Or er, justice, I'm sorry. I have faith we're gonna hit our second primal by that point. Still need to hit power, for sure. This hand's a little scary all of a sudden. Okay, 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 okay. We got some things, we got some things. Our opponent's stuck on influence. Uh, we ran 18 power, Sokka. You know me, man. I like my 18, homie. I will take you stuck on influence because I'm stuck on power. So I'm going to say that's fair. Interesting. Very interesting. So we can... Aff so here's the thing, right? We can play a troublemaker that dies to that. But then next turn, if we draw power, we can go... No, if we draw power, we're just playing one of our big guys. Yeah, never mind. Disregard. Disregard. Plus, if we draw our barbarian camp, we will be in a good spot. Yes. So, power. Undepleted power or barbarian camp, please. Deck one time. Look us up, deck. Come on. I got faith in you. You're a good deck. You are a good deck. That is the furthest thing possible. So now the only question is, do we siege provisions to get in a wee bit of damage or do we just play a blocker? Yeah, because if we draw power, yeah, because the thing is siege provision. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going to play a blocker. That's fine. 
in the back. Maybe I should have attacked there. Maybe I should have A-spaced. They're stuck on power. We want to give them as few draws or influence. We want to give them as few draws as possible. Still can't believe we won that last game. So that was two games, right? And we won. Did we win the game with the uh, Corpse Boom? No, we didn't. That's right. Shield is going to take our guy. They're going to attack. Okay, fair. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, so we get him for six, they get him for six, but we're barely ahead? Hmm. I wish it was, that was this, it's the only thing about quick draw, right? Is that it's not like uh, first strike. I don't know if we do that. Oh, we get him for eight and they get him for six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. We'll take six on the crackback, but then we play a blocker or something big. Yeah, I like that. Are they really mono fire? There's no way they're mono fire. No way. They just have to be missing their second influence, which is tough. By the way, Sandy, I'm with you. I'm digging this soundtrack. How long is this soundtrack? I don't even know. I think it's two hours. Oh no, yeah, two hours. It's two hours, so it's repeated itself now. Yeah, it's pretty hard to find a four hour uh, track prison. You can find one hour, two hour, and three hours. Four hours are tough, so I just get two hour ones. Man, I'm starting to believe they're mono fire. And appropriate for the stream, Insomniac. What? Yeah, they still don't have good blocks. Oh, yeah, I guess they do. So we could. We could play Siege Provisions. Nah, let's just run it. That wasn't the correct block. Very weird block prison, I agree. I think they might just be tilted because they're missing. They're missing uh, their other influence. They are mono fire. Holy cow! Shout out to Insomniac. Yeah, they are. I, I really feel. Ooh. I'm going to keep the pressure on. Oh, all right, we just kill him. Sorry, Insomniac. All right, so we both... On the play? Five power on the play, but we have our aggressive turn three. We keep it. Completely forgot we have Burning Core Drake in this. Wait and see if this is, could be uh, fire instead. All right, time. Thanks, Tessie. Appreciate that. Thank you, Sandy. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get this. Yeah. Let's get justice online. Hey, what's up, Jason? How are you doing? I don't know if I told you, but Geek Game the other day. We played a game, I think. Or maybe I watched one of the videos when I was editing. I don't remember now. Luckily we have 5 power, so we can actually wait a little bit on that token. I would like to see a 4 drop next turn. Okay, so we're not worried about Humbug Nest. Okay, at least it blocks. Well, since we're gonna play this guy now, uh, we have Hammer Hand in hand. I'm gonna wait. Uh, and I think we are gonna go ahead and block here. We want to keep the board as clear as possible for... Yeah, you got, always got to be worried about double damage, Jason. Always. Especially on an evasive unit. It's so scary. But yeah, we're going to block here. Get the trick out of their hand at the very least. We want to keep the board clear for Beastmaster to do some work. Man, at least our fixing has been great. Yep, I'll take that. We don't know how long it's going to be before we get a relic. Now watch for our top deck up. Okay, yeah. Let's get in there. Hopefully they burn their fighting winds here. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, it is. Like, up, up until the draft update... I would have, it was very low. There weren't enough ways to augment that card to make it good. It's just this time, that deck we had Warhorn and we had, uh, ow. Oh, man, man. I don't think we trade. Still holding on to the power, man. Holding on to that power. That way if we play Torgoth, we're good. Uh, the question is, do we play this or not? I'm going to. And then next turn, we'll activate here and swing. Why is that? Just because it's so long prison? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Really do. It's been an absolute delight. Okay, see, there we go. Uh, do we get it for more damage than draw cards? That's my question. I think it's always better to draw more cards, right? Or do we just get in our damage while we can? Okay, we got there anyways. So we technically can go here and then pump here. Gotcha. Yeah, I only played a base for a little bit. I was going to start picking up base because I thought it was a little more uh, mobile than drums, but it turns out the club was too loud for me to be able to play. Okay. 
Hmm. I don't think we need to burn Yeti. So we act so here and here and swing. Seems good. Get our fire. I mean, we do have to worry about there's a consideration to go here because then our siege provisions can make us attack through bigger guys. We could just wait. We want to diversify our threats. Of course, giving quick draw here would be amazing too. We're one power away. All right. Uh, Minsky, thank it's you so Minsky much. Shared X five hundred. Thank you so much, Minsky, for those sweet biddies, buddy. I really appreciate it. All right, have a great night. Let's get some hype for Pinsky. You think it's the goat? You think we suit up the goat? Missing matters. I'm gonna wait. So we can suit up the Yeti and provisions and swing in with 10 quick draw. Yeah, and that's why I was against it. Thank you so much, Minsky. It's really sweet of you to swing by. Thank you, guys. Oh, I love it when you guys blow up chat. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, but I guess you're right. I guess it was kind of kind of intuitive as well because if they uh, play the corpse zoom, they were going to bounce whatever has the staff on it anyway. Oh. I'll tell you what, you know who's been the overachiever? We've won what three games off of uh three games off of touch. We could take the one. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Let's see what it is. Well, shoot, honestly, at this point, we might just be able to kill them with just hammer handing their face. Oh, how great would that be? Would you let us do that, Ragman? Ragman, would you let us hammer hand your face? Just pile, like, uh, what, what's that slam called in WWE? Choke slam? That's what, I mean, it doesn't kind of looks like a choke slam, but obviously it's not because she's grabbing his entire chest. But undepleted. I've learned my lesson. Undepleted power. At least our fixing was good. Man, what a seven win deck to finish the season off. If we can get there, that'd be great. Our opponent and their influence is pretty strong too. Pretty strong. And they got it all naturally, right? Yeah, they went five color ham. There you go, Nick. If you're still awake, buddy. Ragman was following the dream. Yeah, help, let's get some help. Help in chat. Help. Can we help? Can we get some Princess Leia? Help me, deck. You're my only hope. <clears throat> Not good enough. It's not good enough. Yes. Oh, you guys are great, man. You guys are so great. Feeling the love. How's your head feeling, Merc? All right. They're in hammerhand range. Oh, they're in hammerhand range. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on.
And we don't want to like risk it, right? We're not just gonna sit here and not kill them till we draw our, our ten eighth power, right? No. Well, I'm glad you feel better. Prison, I don't think we're gonna be able to, man. It looks like Kill Me uh, went to bed, bro. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, check. You can check Discord real quick and see if maybe he's just lurking. <clears throat> come on, come on! What a great way to end this. Please, just give me some power. Come on, come on! Undepleted power off the top. Undepleted power. Undepleted power. God. Damn it. Oh. <clears throat> Son of a... Mm. We can't die if we A space, right? There's no way to die here, right? Right? Just let the 2-1 through. Ragman, just let the 2-1 through. Make some trades. Don't let us kill you. Don't let us kill you. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. They're blocking. We're good. We're good. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yes. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, they're going to one? Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Do not kill yourself. Come on. You got to give it to me. Please. I, I shouldn't have attacked. I shouldn't have attacked. I just don't. Oh. Come on. Don't, 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 don't. Please, Ragman. Play to your outs. Play to your outs. Draw a card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. We did it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Boop. Oh, yes. What a finish. Oh, that was epic. Yeah, yeah. Math Princess has it. Porgs in chat. Blow up chat with Porgs. I want to see all the Porgs. Porg it up. Oh, that was great. That was great. That was it. And that was our highest rank yet. We've never been rank 11. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that did it. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Ooh, um. Everyone tuning in, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you made it this far, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And of course you can catch me streaming live every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday at twitch.tv slash Jedi underscore EJ. But that'll do it. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, as always, happy gaming.